Hey guys, how's it going? It's Michael at Play Tech, and today I have the app of the month for February 2012. Now, the app of the month this month is going to be Kingdom Rush for the iPad. Unfortunately, this is not on the iPhone or iPod Touch. It should be. It's an amazing game. It's probably one of the best tower defense games I've ever. If it's probably the best tower defense game I've ever played. Very addicting. An awesome game. It is only for the iPad, which sucks. Um, I, I would rate it a five stars. I already have. It's great. It's a great game. Like it says right there. Um, everybody is pretty much rating it five to four stars. There's only a few people who are rating it this. All the reviews are five stars except for this one dude who uh, need, who only rated it four, but he said it needs to be for the iPhone and iPod Touch. I would highly recommend that. Um, they would make a ton of money if they put it on the iPhone and iPod Touch, and they'd make a lot of people happy. And I'm sure that'd make a lot of you guys happy because I know not everybody has iPads out there. But if you guys do have iPads, Kingdom Rush, an amazing app. And that's why it's the app of the month for February 2012. And I'm going to be doing a review on it right now. So let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so the icon for Kingdom Rush is right there. Let's go ahead and tap on it and open it up and adjust the volume. Actually, turn it up here. You guys can hear it, hopefully. So pretty cool volume. Main menu, very simple. Start and credits. I'm going to go to the starts, not waste any time. Uh, let's go into slot one. I don't feel like starting a new game. I'll just show you guys some uh, previous levels I've played. Still a little loud. So I'm on level one, two, th three, four, five, six. Six is actually pretty hard. I'm not going to go into it. Here you have how many stars you have over here. There's 70 in the game. You can upgrade. So after you beat each um, level, you'll get uh, X amount of upgrades. And each upgrade costs a different amount of uh, coins. I guess you could say they do have achievements like Xbox. So I believe, I think this is with Game Center. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. I, don't quote me on that though. Encyclopedia, and basically what this is is just like a journal of your enemies and uh, stuff. So let's go into number two, just because number one is always boring. Oh, and once you get three stars on a level, you can choose the difficulty. I'm gonna do easy because this is a, a, a demo, I guess you could say. And you can also choose different game modes. We're just gonna do the original one. And let's go ahead and start it. So, wait for it to load here. Like I said, this is definitely one of my favorite games. So basically what you do is uh, there's, uh, if, if, if you ever played tower defense games, you pretty much know you have to protect this area because that's basically, let's just say your home and enemies will try to get through the path and you have to build towers and uh, things to stop them. So let's build, I'm going to build some magic right here and here's uh, my, I can't really see that, here's my coins and life and what wave I'm on. And right now I only have 120 coins, so I'm actually going to do some archers. And I don't have any more money, so let's go ahead and tap this guy to start. And then they will come and start going. The one thing I would really like to see in this video, they also have tips right here that will pop up. If you get new enemies, a little thing will pop up telling you about them. But I want to see a fast forward button, because I don't always want to just sit here the whole time waiting for them to kill everybody when I could be going faster because it's the beginning of the level. It's really annoying. If you do, um, if you do want to call in stuff early though, when that thing pops up again, all you gotta do is tap it and tap it again, and you will get extra coins if you call them in early. So let's go ahead and build uh, some barricade guys here. These guys will stop them or try to stop them at least. And uh, you can upgrade your tower, so you can tap on it. I need 160 coins to upgrade. I only have 55 right now, 58 now, uh, so I can't upgrade. You can sell them. Let's go ahead and call in another one early. Even get an extra 19 points. And let's build some archers right here. And also, one more thing, you also have a few power-ups down here. What this one does is just sends out extra guys, so I can tap it right there and extra guys come out. What this fireball does is send fireballs from the sky uh, to uh, kill the uh, enemies that you want to kill. Pause up here, encyclopedia, and your settings right there. Go ahead and resume this and call it in one more. And that is basically the game. This is what you do. It's very fun and addicting. Um, very, very fun and addicting. I, again, I would highly recommend this game. If you have an iPad, go to the iTunes App Store and type in Kingdom Rush and get this game because it's very fun. And I would highly recommend it. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this app review. Quick one, but if you guys want to purchase this app, it again is called Kingdom Rush. The icon for it is right there. Just search Kingdom Rush in the App Store. Hopefully, they'll have an iPhone and iPod version coming soon. But if you have an iPad, get this app. You will not regret it. It's a great game. So I'll see you guys later, and thanks for watching.